Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back for the final part of Copenhagen Dreaming for this week. And um, we are, well, rejoining people as they go back to um, uh, to Agnes's place. Yes, yeah. So I'm guessing we meet uh, with Agnes outside of her place. Yes, yes, she was waiting outside, that's right. Hi again, guys. Hi. Hi. Anything happened while we're gone? No. Nope. That's good. Thomas is calling in a favor to deal with it. Thank you so much. And thank you that we just stay over here. Did, uh, did you find out if, if any of this stuff happens at the before homes? Before what? Anyone was watching at, at your places. Uh, I mean, it's it's unfair to have everybody staying here to look after my family if, if any of you was uh, safe. Thomas at least said that it was likely just you. Um, I will keep an eye out uh, at my place, definitely. Same here. Well. I can routinely bring Sir to sniff out the areas around your houses. He has a good sniffer. Yeah, he does. He's a good boy, isn't he, sir? I most certainly am. I am the best boy. <laughs> yeah, you are. He rolls over on his back and wants scritches. I, of course, comply. I mean, you just called him a good boy. Of course he gets scritches. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, did you check with your parents, Agnes? Yeah, it's it's just fine. Actually, my dad seemed kind of relieved that, that I'm coming home again. What did you tell them? Well, basically just that uh, you guys were coming over because uh, they were busy at uh, Jasmine's place, so that we should just want to join out here instead. So, nothing much, just that we were coming over. Okay. Oh, Charlie, well, by the way. Charlie? Isn't he anyone? What? Yes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> um, I got these fine new knives. Um, draw some of the uh, throwing knives. Do you know how to enchant them? So they do a little more damage if we meet more red caps or some trolls or white way in? Well, to start off with, I could always sharpen them. That would be nice. <laughs> he, he takes one of them and looks at it. It's, it's, a, it's a horrible job. <laughs> Obviously, it's, in, it's, it's nowhere near as good a job as you could do, that's clear. Where did you get these? China or something? <laughs> it says no, made no. in Taiwan. I got them in a local store. In a in a local, okay. Yeah, at the. A, I'll. I'll I'll, I'll sure. take a look at look at them. Awesome. There's five of them. Right. Yeah. No problem. And um. Yeah, you guys uh, going back inside? Yeah, that seems to yeah. be the plan. Okay. Well, you get in, and and uh, when you get there, um, just as you enter, uh, Agnes, your dad has to to leave. He's got a meeting he needs to go to before you know school start and everything. He's got to he's got planning meetings to go to as well. Uh, but he basically he points to the fridge and says, "There, there are um, you know a couple of uh, of bottles of Coca Cola in there. You can just take them if you want." Thank you, Dad. Be safe. Don't get bored to death. <laughs> Definitely, I will be safe. And he, he, he waves and heads off. Right. Anyone else home? Not at this time, no. <sighs> All right. So, what do we do? Because if if 
so far it seems our plan is maybe to enter the dreaming and somehow find our way to the ancient battlefield uh, or ancient to the battlefield at Arken. And well, we I... are we already know one entry and way into the dreaming. Yeah. Yeah. The um... one we came out of. And um... well, unless someone physically removed it, it should be. Uh, trots are usually kind of permanent things. So we could just go there and then figure our way around when we get there. Or... Do we, we want to should... talk with Stefan too? Maybe he knows something too? He's also an old geezer. And what about your um, grandfather, Charlie? Yeah, I, I don't know if bothering him, him anymore will help us. Uh, it seems like he can, tried to. We can always ask him, but as far as I know, he left pretty early when when shit started hitting the fan, and <coughs> just tried to stay out of, out of it as best as he could. Ah, uh, fair enough. Um... So if all else fails, of course we can ask him, but. I would rather go to the Ark uh, seeking a throat than, than actually asking him right now. Also, I might have used up all of the um, all of the brass once again. <laughs> oh. Well, we could talk with Stefan. He has a ton of stories. We, we definitely could and see if he has any uh, place where we should uh, where we should go. Um... I think we need to plan out um, a little ahead. I, f I mean, it's not like we're going hiking, right? But still, it's nice to have a plan. Yeah. Should we do the arc first, see if we can get there? And once we've been there, try and ask Stefan? That might be a good idea. Um... When is the next question? It tonight. Like some, uh, some of us have plans tonight, Sonny. After plans? Tomorrow? Just as you say that, someone knocks on the window, or rather, something. Looked over. There's yeah. a tail knocking on the window. A okay. large, scaly tail. It's knocking well. quite gently. It's kind of Sunny bluish. Opens it. It's kind of bluish. Um, Sunny opens the window. Yeah, and and because Yo. because whatever was knocking doesn't realize that you you just open the window until it's too late. You now have a face full of dragon tail. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm just checking in. It says, "Is this where Agnes lives?" Yeah. Hello. All right. Okay, I'm here to make sure that if anybody comes around to give her any kind of bother or trouble, they will have to deal with me first. Arr. <laughs> Sonny looks out. Who is this? This is... That fellow. Oh. He's, he's currently residing on the roof of the building. Oh. Well, Sonny, the complete idiot, looks out, looks up at him. And just does his normal. Oh my god, that's so magnificent. Anyway, Thomas said that you needed help, so here I am. Agnes goes over to the window and, and pops out and looks up in like, Wow. <laughs> I, I, I just can't believe the colors of your scale and the sun like this. Oh, oh, you know, like, I do polish them. I do. <laughs> it, it, it really shows. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much that you wouldn't do this for me. Oh, you're, you are welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> he is, he, he is lapping up the flattery. <laughs> thank you. I feel so much safer now. And also for my family. I'm, I'm sure that, that nobody will actually never get past you. 
Oh no, no, no! Certainly not some some slimy um, nightmare courtiers. They're never going to get past me. Definitely not. <laughs> he puffs out his chest and look, man- manages to make himself look even bigger, and he's he is already quite large. <laughs> hmm. Do you need anything? Like no, uh, no, no. That's. No, that's fine. Thank you for asking. I'm, I'm go. Ooh, ooh. I think I see them. Oh, see who? Yes, they they drive around in a white van, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yes, I see them. They are nearby. Shall I go and have a word with them? No. Oh, do you know where they are? Yes. Where exactly? Mm, two roads over. Can you see who's in the car? Not at this distance, but I can smell them. Well, I'll be back then. Okay. Let me guess one troll and one bloody thing. um, I'm gonna... Is the... I don't know what it's called in English. Altain? Uh, Oh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, a porch. Yeah. Um, Uh, Yes, there is. I'll go up there, climb to the roof. Yes. And run over to check. Yep, you can see the car as well. Can I see who's in it? Uh, not from this distance. It's two streets over, but you can see the car quite distinctly. It's a white van. Well, I'll climb to the street and sneak over there. Right. In the meantime, while you do that, the uh, the dragon is still looking at Agnes and going, should I go over there and, and have a word with them? Um, let, let's see who it is first when August gets back. Okay, we'll wait. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if, if they actually know what they they want. And the, this, there's no reason to, to scare them off if, if we can figure out what they actually live for. Mm, that's a good point. Very good point. Well, I will wait until he comes back. Uh, yeah, sorry. Just thank you. No, oh, okay. He, he smiles. Yeah. A big toothy uh... smile. If it does turn out that they're here for something bad, it might be a good idea to send an example as soon as possible. Or send, set an example. Mm-hmm. I shall set such an example, don't you worry. <laughs> Thank you. But let's await August's return. Yes. I think Sunny Can flaps up beside the dragon. The dragon, of course, doesn't actually have wings. It's a linorm. It looks a little, yeah, but... a little bit, just, just, just a smidgen of envy on its face when it looks at your wings. Lands beside it and tries to spot the car. You can see it. You can see it. I also see uh, August sneaking up on it. Yep, you can. But again, you oh, know yeah. that he's heading over there, so, you know. Yeah, I know. He's doing a pretty good He's job. He's just, you know, making sure that he doesn't suddenly need help. Yeah, okay, yeah, because August is doing a pretty decent do- job at sneaking. He's good at it. As far as I recall, he's very good at it. I know, I know. And Sonny knows, too. He's just, yeah, you know, yeah. if, if shit happens, maybe August would like help. Yep. Well, you do yeah. get over there, August. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. and you can tell from, you know, from, uh, from, from looking... Uh, that yeah, it is in fact a certain blind troll and a certain red cabin that in 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 this uh, in this van. Yeah, can I see what they're doing? Right now, it looks like they're eating something. You no, know, having late breakfast or something. So they're not actively looking at the apartment. No, no. Stuff. Again, they're they're two streets over from the from from where that is. They couldn't see the apartment from where they're sitting. Can they see the entrance to uh, uh, no. the door where we're going? Nope. No. Not from where they're sitting now. No? Um, well, that's weird. Uh, can I get close enough to actually hear what they're talking about? Uh, yeah, if you give me a stealth roll, let's have dexterity plus stealth. Not bad. That's pretty good. That's three successes. So you sneak closer. 
uh, and you can hear the the uh, the red cab growling something about, um, you know, she's tired of wasting time. We should just go over there and get it over with. And the troll says, "No, no, wait. There's, I can sense something having changed. There's something different. It's not safe anymore." And the um, uh, the uh, uh, the red cap just sneers and goes, "Nothing is ever safe. Life isn't safe. No one has survived it yet." And then you can hear that she, you know, she guns the engine and and starts uh, and starts going. Um, I'll I'll take one of my knives and actually stab a couple of the tires if I can. You can try to uh, um, you can try to slash one of the tires before they go. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, let's have a uh, that's a throwing uh, weapon. So that's Dex plus your athletics thing. Yeah. There we go. That's actually not terribly good. That's only one so success. That's at least one. It's one success. Um, so you need to do damage. <coughs> and that's how much. Uh, throwing knives have a fixed damage of what is it two or something? I think it's three. Three. Yeah. Let's just check it. If I can find it. Yes. There we go. Uh, weapons. Rolling. Improvised. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's not the throne. Uh, let's see if I can find it somewhere. It's down here. There we have it. That's just strength. Okay, so it's... Yeah. Alright. So what is your strength? A three. Yep, then it's a three. And try rolling your, your damage. Yep, that does not actually penetrate the, the, the tire. Damn it. So oh. the, the car drives off, uh, but you have your knife. I mean, it just bounces to the... To the, to the, to the um, uh, just bounces to the, uh, the, the roadside. You can just pick it up. No, no yeah. question that it's probably be it, it'll probably be a good idea to let um, the knocker actually have a chance at sharpening them. Yeah, this is not good. Nope. <laughs> the um, yeah. but you can see that the, she drives down the the road and it's in that direction. So yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I run through my knife and then hopefully the dragon can hear me, and I'm I'm yelling off. The top of my lungs. That's they're here to do bad. Yep. Well, the dragon clearly hears it, and uh, and basically the white van comes around the corner, and the dragon slides off the roof, slides down the side of the building. It's like it's crawling. It's it's even though it's a vertical surface, it just crawls down it like a snake would crawl across a flat surface um down to to where the the white van comes around and just as the van starts skidding to a halt the um the uh, the the dragon or the linorm uh, does it, it uses one of its powers and basically knocks the uh, the van over Okay. Wow. It knocks the van over on its side and then slides up on the side of it. You can see it, obviously. Ordinary people can't. They have no idea what just happened. But people are afraid because a car just toppled. But you can see the dragon sliding up on the side of the van and hissing through the window something at the people inside of it. And you can see that it does a, like a bite. Wow, that's an an outrageous amount of dice there. Um, I did yeah. it wrong. <laughs> no problem. Um, although that would be a nice uh, willpower score to have. Um, the uh, um, 
the the dragon basically bites through the window and at the 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 two people inside and you do hear a scream i'm running there that went the driver and then the dragon just it's it um it looks back up and and looks towards all of you and nods and then it slithers away and um the door which is you know the the side door of the of the van is kicked open from the inside and karen stumbles out uh, she's bleeding she's clearly been bitten she's bleeding uh a moment later the the uh, uh the red cap comes out as well and they begin they they try to escape down the down the road basically they want to get away um and you said there were people on the road yeah there are people here and they can think... they can obviously see these two people coming running they don't see them as fey they just see them as ordinary people I think, how about uh, we just let him get away yeah yeah uh, i think jonah sticks his head out the window and, and yells shouldn't someone call an ambulance Oh, right! Somebody shouts, Jeez, you're right, sorry! And somebody, you know, two or three people... <laughs> you know, two or three people pull out their cell phones and begin to call, but it, it, they've everyone has basically had the whole deer-in-the-headlights syndrome, that they have just seen something dramatic happen and, and been frozen in, in time and space for a moment. Yeah. yeah. But now they, they're like, oh, yes, of course, of course. And they, they call, a, uh, somebody calls the, the, uh, the police because there's been an accident. And somebody calls for an ambulance. And you, you, yeah, basically, you get, the, you get the idea. While the two of them do their level best to get away. Does anyone try to stop them? Yeah, a few people try to, like, no, no, stop, stop, we're getting help. And then you get pushed out of the way by these two and they just run. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll follow them at a safe distance. Yeah. Um, using whatever skills I can in park or free running. Yeah, you you manage to keep up with them basically all the way until they get to a, a bus stop. Um, at that point, they um, uh, the, the red cap uh, tears the the sleeves off her jacket, and they use that to sort of staunch the bleeding on on uh, on on the troll makeshift staunching it, and then they get on a bus and they're heading back towards Ama. Hmm. You can still follow them if you want to. Yeah. I think I'll do that. Yeah, sure. You want to follow them all the way over there? I'll follow them until they get off the bus. They, see what yeah. they're doing. If I can get close enough to actually hear what the plans were. They get off right outside... Um, they get off right outside the actual court. Well, then I'm just... Get the fuck away from that. Yeah, because yikes. Yeah. Uh, but it's right outside um, the, the the club. It's called the Fall of Man. Um, Sönefeld, where they um, where they uh, um, they run in. You're pretty cl you're pretty uh, aware that you've been spotted. There are people moving towards you now. Yeah. yeah well. I'll get away from there and then... Yeah, you run as fast as you can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you have the advantage of going over the rooftops, which makes it, you know, all the all the more difficult to follow you, obviously. Speaking of rooftops, I think Jonas will attempt to get to help Sonny get down. Yes. Oh, Sonny is fine hard where he is. Is there like a window I can open to help him get in? Yeah, there's a roof window that you can open. It's Come not on. like he can't get down on his own. He's just gathering himself. Hey, you're all right, Sonny. Fine. You don't look fine. I've always been this pale. <laughs> Do you just want to sit here for a while? or? Yes, please. All right. Um, Seth, I'm not getting up on the roof with you if you think that's the idea. You can fly, get up here. But 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 there are dragons out there. Isn't here anymore. Okay. Also, he's nice. Okay. 
the, the corgi flies up to where you are. Yeah, he he's in his lap, in his arms, and yeah. he's gonna stay there for a while. Yeah. Jonas goes to make a cup of tea or coffee, whatever Agnes uh, has. Yes. Um, okay, would he know what uh, Sonny prefers? Tea. And he makes tea. All right. You make tea. And um, what about the rest of you? Mm. Uh, is the where did the dragon go? Did it follow the the throne and the red cap, or uh, did it come back? Or... No, the 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 dragon waited until they had made it away, and then it looks back up to to uh, towards the roof, and then it basically coils itself around one of the trees down in the in the front. Hmm. That's one massive guard dog. Yes, yes, it is an absolutely massive guard dog. <laughs> I people can't see it, but I'm pretty sure any face seeing it will look twice. Like the fuck is it they have in that front yard? Yep, there is um, the, basically if people are looking right now, it looks like there are a series of um, like tractor tires around one of the trees. <laughs> The problem, of course, is how the hell did you get the tractor tires around the tree to begin with? Don't ask. Without opening the tires. Yes. Because they're whole. Yes. Oh my god. They weren't there yesterday. How did they do the magic? Uh, Atlas is, well, obviously a little shaken by the incident, but she's also so grateful that she just runs down the stairs and sort of tries to hug the dragon. Yeah, so you're basically hugging the tire. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, you're welcome. I did promise I would help, and I'm, I'm gonna stay here and make sure they're not coming back. Hey, this is shaking up <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh right. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't be a martini. It isn't a drink that's sweet enough. Uh, that's true. The Roman centurion went into a um, went into a bar and asked for a martinis. The um, the bartender says, "Are you sure you not you didn't mean martini? If I wanted two, I would have said it." <laughs> um, yeah. Well, she she thanks the dragon and, and goes up to the others. Yes. So, yeah, you get up to the others. Yeah. Uh, are you, you guys okay? Um, I'm fine, yeah. That was impressive. Yeah, that was quite a show. Um, do we have any imagination why they were just sort of... Why what? Why did they, they, they were coming? It, it seemed that they were pretty much going to the house. My guess is that they wanted to get back at us for having taken down two of theirs. That's not good. So. No. But would it be safe to assume that it's, it's us and, and not my family that they are? They could be after your family in order to hurt us, or you in this case. That's very true. I'm but... just considering, you know, not being, uh, you know, any else than here if they are after us. I think we just sent them a strong set, uh, a strong uh, signal that we're on to them. They shouldn't try anything. But what if they come back with more? You know, we just put a dragon on them, and yeah, what if they come with the whole cavalry? I don't think they would. There's, I mean, there still seems to be a bit of a an unstable. I mean, we won't call it a truce because it's not, but they won't do that because if they do that, then we will bring out the cavalry against them. Sure, that's that's at least. 
And at least as long as they're not sure they're going to win, I don't think they'll risk it. That's true. I think Jonas sounds much more confident than he actually is. And Agnes is very grateful for that. <laughs> because that, that means it, it feels kind of safe. That being, that being said, I think he texts his mom and says that he's arranged for uh, them to go to Sonny's place just to see if she replies. She does. She does. And and she, say, she writes back and says, uh, Great, I'll be there at uh, 7. I'll ask Sonny. Sure. Sonny? Once you get him off the roof, of course. I, I think Jonas sticks his head out the window and hopes that talking about something else will help Sonny. So he goes, Sonny? Yeah? Would it be alright if uh, my mom came by at 7? Sure. You just have to make sure to be there. Right. He sticks his head over the edge. Are the others okay? Yeah. Um, I don't know about August. He uh, he followed them. Yeah, have anyone heard from him? I'll send him a text. Hey, August, hey, August you're right, right, says the text. August the Beckett. No, 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 he sends a text. text. Oh. Uh, well, I'll just... I'll send a text back explaining what I did and what happened and then yep. saying I'm on my way. Sure, sure. <clears throat> okay, so apparently he followed them all the way back to Ama, but he's on his way back now. Hey, what? Yeah, that was not very smart. Sonny actually looks in through the window at this point, upside down. The what he did? <laughs> yeah, they all the way back there. I wonder what they're going to tell Baron Steele of the court about what happened. Well, probably what happened. Yes, that but... this house is under protection. Yes, and that but... we're on to them. Hmm. See um, what their next move will be. Should we text Thomas to let him know, just in case they, you know, send someone over to the to, to the court and and just that we attack them. That might be a good idea. Um, so that's not wait. any misunderstandings. I don't have his number, but that might be a good idea. I do. Uh, Charlie, your phone uh, rings. Hmm. I sneak a look at it. Yeah, it's her. Um, Guys, I'm, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to pick this uh, outside. Sure. sure, is everything all right? Yeah, no problem. Right. Just I leave the room. I leave the room. Yeah, you leave the room behind. <laughs> I think Sonny looks after him. Maybe his grandfather realized he used all the brass again and he doesn't want us to hear the shouting. That could be. In any case, you uh, you pick up the phone. Yes. And and on the other end is Caroline and you can hear the the worry in her voice when she says, "Charlie, I'm just going to tell you this one time. Please make sure that the right people hear it. If you guys are going to upscale this whole fight with dragons, it's going to get ugly because Baron Steel is going to let the dra the lady have her way." You understand? I do. All right. I don't want to see you get hurt, all right? You too. All right, thank you. See you tonight. Yeah, see you tonight. She hangs up again. Yes, I uh, put the phone away and walk back in. Everything all right? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. You sure? Sound a little down. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. 
sorry for being worried. I wish this was I wish this was Pathfinder so I could roll sense motive. <laughs> <laughs> well there is actually such a thing you can roll in this game too. Wouldn't that be meta gaming? Yeah, it would be. Yeah, I know. Exactly, so there's no point. Um okay, but yes, it's he just seems a bit down, okay. Well, he did sound a little down when he just came in and said, yeah, everything's okay. Yeah, okay. Well, you know. Thing is, though, guys, yeah. I actually think that the image of Charlie coming back in and saying, yeah, everything's fine, everything's fine, is a pretty good place to stop until next time. Yeah. Yes! And then we start up with the lady roaming over the entire city. So um, I'm going to give you three XP for tonight. You uh, you got some pretty um, interesting information here, and tons of secrets. Tons of secrets. Yes, like I said, I shall have to. I shall try and listen back to it at some point in the week, so I can make my notes a little bit more coherent. But, yes. Uh... All right, no problem. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen of the viewing audience, from us here at Charisma2AC, um, until next time, bye. 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 bye.